Hi, boys and girls. Today's video is about dividing a decimal by a one-digit divisor. So um, we're going to continue to use do monkey smell bad really? But however, boys and girls, I want to add a word. And that's boy. Do monkey smell bad really? The B in boy stands for bring up the decimal. So you want to bring up that decimal, then you want to go ahead Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down the next number, repeat if necessary. So when you bring up that decimal, you only have to do that one time, okay? You only have to do this one time, okay? One time. And when we go through our examples, you will see what I mean by doing it one time, okay? When decimals are, when de when decimals are divided, the dividend may not have enough digits to complete the division. In these cases, write zeros to the right of the last digit in your dividend. Writing zeros to the right of the last digit does not change the value of your decimal dividend. Okay, so let's look at example number one that I'm having. And boys and girls, this is just like long division, but the only thing is we have a decimal now. So example one is one and 35 hundreds divided by three. So... Like I mentioned before, the first thing you want to do, boys and girls, is to bring up this decimal. So I'm going to take my decimal and I'm going to bring it up. And remember, once you bring up that decimal, you do not have to do it anymore. And remember, as you divide, you, will, you want to line up your numbers. So here we go. I ask myself, can three go into one? No. So there's zero times three is zero. We're going to subtract, then I'm going to bring down the 3. How many times 3 can go into 13? I know 3 can go into 13 4 times because 4 times 3 is 12. And I know that 3 times 5 is 15, so 15 is too much. So now I'm going to put my 12, and I'm going to subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Zero. 1 minus 1 is 0. And I'm going to bring down that 5. 3 can go into 15. Five times, five times three is 15 subtract. So my answer is 45 hundredths. Now, boys and girls, this time I want you to try. I would like for you <clears throat> to try to divide three into two and 52 hundredths. So this is your turn, number one. So yours is three into 52 hundredths. Three into 52 hundredths. So boys and girls, make sure you stop the video before you watch me work it out. So step one is to bring up that decimal. There's my decimal. Brought it up, and now I am ready to divide. Can three go into two? Nope. So zero times three is zero. We're going to subtract two, and I'm going to bring down my next digit, which is a five. How many times three can go into 25? Eight times. Eight times three is 24. We're going to subtract five minus four is one. Two minus two is zero. And I'm going to bring down my next digit. That is 2, so my number is 12. 3 can go on to 12 four times. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay? To double check your work, what could you have done? Correct, you could have multiplied. So let's check this time. We're going to do 84 hundreds times three. Four times three, 12. Eight times three, 24 plus one is 25. Now, boys and girls, because I am multiplying a decimal, I need to count how many numbers or how many digits are behind my decimal. In this case, I have one, two digits behind my decimal. None is here. So a total of two. So that may make decimals here, so I need to move it two times. One, two. That's two and 52 hundredths. Boys and girls, remember when multiplying decimals, you do not have to line up the decimals. You just line up the numbers. 
okay? So that is example number one and your number one. So now, boys and girls, we're going to do an example number two. Example number two, we would like to divide <clears throat> 45 and 8 tenths divided by 4. So watch me do this. So my step one is to bring up my decimal. So my decimal is here. Now I am ready to divide. Four can go into four one time. One time four is four. Now I'm sub subtract. Bring down the five. Four can go into five one time. One time four is four. Now I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to bring down the 8. I know 4 can go into 18 four times. 4 times 4 is 16. 8 minus 6 is 2. Now, boys and girls, this is where we talk about adding a 0 to the right of the dividend. Because I have a remainder, I want to add a 0, which is I did here. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop that zero down. So now I am working to 20. How many times four could go into 20? Five times. Five times four is 20, and I'm going to subtract, and it's zero. I don't have any other, I don't have any remainder, so my decimal quotient is 11, 45 hundreds. Now let's watch how this works. So now I'm going to check. So I'm going to do 11 and 45 hundredths times 4. Remember, I just line up the numbers. I do not line up the decimals. 4 is a whole number. So 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2, bring down the 0. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 2 is 18. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, my number has two digits behind the decimal, none here. So I'm going to move it one, two. So it's 45 and 8 tenths or 80 hundredths, which is the same thing. Okay? So let's, now it's your turn. So boys and girls, your turn number two. So we're going to look at 97 and 2 tenths divided by 8. So remember to pause the video and try to work it out yourself and then restart the video. Remember, once you divide 97 and 2 tenths divided by 8 and you have a remainder, don't forget to add that zero to the end of your dividend and drop it down. So pause the video. So let's try. 8 into 9 goes 1 time. 1 times 8 is 8. We're going to subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Bring down the 7. 8 going to 17 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. 7 minus 6 is 1. Uh-oh, boys and girls. Miss Fontenet forgot to bring up the decimal, but I'm going to go ahead and bring up that decimal so I don't forget. I noticed it. I'm going to bring it up, and that's okay. We all make mistakes, but make sure you remember to bring up that decimal. I'm going to bring down the 2. I know 8 can go into 12 one time. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 minus 8 I cannot do, so I'm going to regroup. That's going to become a 0. I'm going to take that whole 10 and put it here. 12 minus 8 is 4. Remember, because I have a decimal, I don't want a remainder. I'm going to add a 0 to the end, and I'm, then I'm going to drop down that 0. 8 can go into 40. 5 times, 5 times 8 is 40. Subtract. Now let's go ahead and check. 12 and 15 hundredths times 8. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 1 is 
8 plus 4 is 12. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. I have two numbers behind the decimal, none here, so I'm going to move my decimal two times. 1, 2. My product and my dividend matches, so that is my answer. Okay, boys and girls, this is your video for today. And if you have any questions, make sure you bring them to school on Monday.